In today's video, I'll be going over how to play Thatcher. Now, as Thatcher's seen a huge change in his EMPs, how they work overall, I think that a lot of players use Thatcher incorrectly. So I'll be breaking down some do's and some don'ts when it comes to Thatcher and just a basic how-to for Thatcher. But besides that, as you can tell, we actually got our own skin for the L8. This is official Disrupt skin. It came out with all the T2 and Tier 3 teams, and we got our own skin and charm. Now, over here at Disrupt, we're actually doing a giveaway for the Disrupt skin and charm. And if you're interested in entering the giveaway, the link will be down in the description and we're picking 15 different winners. Also, later on in the video, I'll be giving a code on screen that you can enter for more entries in this giveaway. So make sure that you stay tuned. Let's get right into this video. Hey, that's a clean pro league. Yeah, man, you should cop the new Disrupt skin. I, I low-key was actually about to buy it. Ooh, you like, should. Like, just five minutes ago. Like, it actually is clean. It would look good on both of my SAS guys. Now, starting out, let's just look at Thatcher. He's a two armor, two speed operator with a one difficulty. And I think this is where this is the immediate uh, problem. I think with his recent EMP changes, I don't think he's a one difficulty operator. I feel that players just use his EMPs very incorrectly and they're not saving it for late round scenarios. But before I get into those uh, points let me just break down what type of guns he does have now he does have the la which is the most consistent ar in the game it does a great deal of damage with a decent fire rate thatcher's also equipped with ar-33 i believe thatcher's the only operator that has this weapon in his loto correct me if i'm wrong this weapon does 41 damage with a high fire rate of 749 it's a decent ar but i feel like la is more uh, best equipped for Thatcher. He's also equipped with an M590. You see the shotgun mostly used on mute and smoke. I wouldn't really suggest this since his secondary is a pistol. Um, it's really not the wave, especially because most of the time you're going to be taking long range gunfights. His secondary isn't anything special, but it does do 50 damage, which is quite nice. For secondary gadgets, he has claymores and breaching charges, which allows him to be some type of flank uh, denial slash breaching charges where he can actually play vertical and have um, some type of damage when it comes to castle barricades or just barricades in general. Now, where I think Thatcher thrives as an operator is when he plays off his teammates. And this is my number one issue with Thatcher players. A lot of players will literally just pick Thatcher and they will start hail marrying those EMPs like there's no tomorrow. And the reason why they do this is because pre-nerf from his EMPs, you can throw one EMP and destroy everything in that radius. Whether that's ADSs, bandit charges, goo mines, like literally mostly anything besides Echo and Maestro Camps. Now, with his EMP nerf, quote-unquote, it now disables everything in range, whether that's bandit wires, ADSs, etc. Now, what's Thatcher's purpose as a operator? Now, a lot of people automatically think that your main objective of Thatcher is to help Thermite or whatever hard breach get the wall. Now, that is true, but a lot of players just only do that, and that's an issue with playing Thatcher. Now, of course, your main objective at the start of the round is to help Thermite, Ace, Habana, whoever, get the main wall or whatever wall you're trying to go for. But Thatcher can be very useful and is useful in other predicaments that you're not getting a wall. He disables any type of utility, any type of utility that you can think of, he can anti-deny it. And that's the beautiful thing about an operator like Thatcher is he's anti-deny. You can always use him no matter what predicament. He's just overall an amazing operator. And this is where my issue is with players that play Thatcher. They automatically think that you waste all three EMPs on a wall and then you could go frag. You need to pocket either one or two EMPs, and I'm going to further go in detail later on in the video. I feel like players don't understand and they don't take advantage of Thatcher's full potential when it comes to his EMPs. For example, one point is his radius of the EMP. Now, I'm going to show you a quick example right now. So in Oregon, people play elbow, and a lot of times you need to burn a lot of utility. If Thatcher's on the board, you can actually throw an EMP in that general direction and disable all three ADSs. I missed through mine, but this is just a clear example of his radius of the EMPs and how effective they are. Now let's go over some do's and some don'ts with Thatcher. First, I want to do a huge don't. I'm just going to show you clip, and then I'm going to break it down after the clip's done. I think he might be fully bandaged right now. Let me look first. Hey, he's putting it down, he's putting it down left side. He's putting it down left side. Okay. Yo, disable the ADS is on the CC window, I can nade him. Good drum. I don't even, I don't have any left. I got shock fire. 
Okay, as you can tell from that clip, it's just a basic, you know, clubhouse cash push, and you have Thatcher right away throwing those EMPs like he's a QB. He does not care. He's just whipping them before Thermite's even repelled up. Now, pre-EMP nerf, this might have not been an issue besides him throwing two extra EMPs, but the first EMP would initially destroy everything that's on the wall. But since that's no longer a thing, he's instantly destroying or disabling maybe one thing, which as you can see, I think it said an ADS. You can also hear his teammate at the end of the clip saying, hey, you can d disable the, the ADS that's on server window and I can grenade the bandit that's bandit tricking. But no, he misused his EMPs. A huge do is wait for your hard breach. It's really simple. You literally just wait for them to be in position, whether they're your solo queuing or whatever. If you at least know that the hard breach is by the wall, if you hold your EMP out and, and look at the hard breach, they will know that you're ready to get the wall. And you can just Z ping or whatever your solo queue. There should be no excuses why you're just throwing them when you just get out of spawn. Like no reason. Another don't is blindly throw your EMPs inside windows or areas where ADSs might be when you can just immediately throw your EMP outside of the area that the ADS is located. For example, I throw mine outside server and it's disabled. Another do is communicate with your teammates how you're using your utility. When you're using EMPs, it's very important to communicate where you're throwing your EMPs and you can kind of time it with your teammates. For example, on Clubhouse, there's a default maestro cam that's usually uh, around the server rack. It's usually pointing towards the main breach. An easy counter for this is just throw an EMP outside the server window and it'll immediately disable it. And the people that hit the breach, they can shoot this and maestro won't have any, in any indication that you threw this EMP. Now, the code for today's giveaway for the Disrupt skin is code SHUTTLE. Now, make sure that when you go to enter the code in, that it's all lowercase and typed out like as seen on screen. You don't have to do the quotations, just SHUTTLE, all lowercase. Be sure to enter that giveaway. Now, Thatcher might be one of the easiest operators to play in Siege, but that's at first glance. When you use his utility very wrong, your team can get punished very easily. Especially with this new EMP change, I definitely think the difficulty of Thatcher is a lot harder than it once was. They now made Thatcher have a skull gap, basically. So when using Thatcher, just be mindful of how you're using his EMPs. It's so important to keep EMPs left over. For example, if you get maybe, if you use one to two for the main wall, then keep one in pocket for late round scenarios. Because a lot of the times there will be Echo Drones, Maestro Cam, even a lot of C4s from under that you can all stop with one EMP when you're going for a plant. Thatcher is one of those operators that can make or break rounds, so be sure to be mindful of how you're using his utility. But besides that, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed this how-to, and I hope you guys go and enter the giveaway. Besides that, this is Garfield's Dog from District Gaming. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. One love.